Hello everyone, this is Ritika Bose, your host for today's live session. Yes, I'm back with another live session and today we will be discussing about gut health for holistic well-being. Today, dietitian Simran Basin, who holds a specialization in clinical nutrition, will be joining us. And she will be talking about the importance of gut health for our overall health. As we wait for her, I would like to know from you people, what do you understand by gut health? Jaldi jaldi chat box hai, comment sections khule hue hai, daliye, isme ajante hai aap se ki what is your understanding of gut health? आजकल बहुत लोग आप अगर पोस्ट वगैरह देखोगे तो बहुत सारा चर्चा पे है ये विषय गट हेल्थ के बारे में हम लोग खाना खाते हैं हम जो हमारे मॉर्निंग से लेके इवनिंग तक वट एवर इनटेक वी हैव फूड वी टेक दैट इम्पैक्ट आर ओवरऑल हेल्थ हम सबको बचपन से यही सिखाया जाता है कि खाना ठीक टाइम पे खाना चाहिए खाना जो हम खाते हैं वो सोच समझ के खाना चाहिए yes, so I have Uh, I am receiving some answers out there. Metabolism. I'm about stomach health. Vikram ji, likhte hain. Yes, Vikram ji, you are right. Baki, aap bhi apna daliye yahan pe chat box me. Or ham jante hain aap se ki aap ki kya understanding hai gut health ke baare me. So, what is gut health according to you? I am waiting for more and more replies in the comment section. Jab tak hamare saath dietitian se mein jutti hai, tab tak ham kuch aap ke saath kar lete hain chacha. जानते हैं कि आपकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्या है गट हेल्थ के बारे में तो टूडे सेशन विल बी ऑन हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर गट हेल्थ जैसे विक्रम जी ने बोला है कि मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड स्टॉमिक हेल्थ बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है तो यस हमारे साथ जुड़ चुकी है डाइटेशियन सिमरन वसीम हु होल्ड अ स्पेशलाइजेशन इन क्लिनिकल न्यूट्रिशन वी वेलकम यू मैम टू आवर लाइव सेशन थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच इट आई एम श्योर दैट दिस सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी यू नो अ लॉट वी विल लर्न अ लॉट एंड वी विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट द गट हेल्थ एंड द गुड गट बैक्टीरिया एंड हाउ गट व्हाई गट इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट यस गट इज इंडीड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कहावत में ही है जो हम खाते हैं वही हमारे चेहरे पे हमारे बॉडी पे झलकता है तो हम आज आप पे जानना चाहेंगे कि वॉट इज गट एंड गट है ओके सो गट इज बेसिकली आपकी बॉडी में डाइजेस्टिव uh, सिस्टम में uh, दो पार्ट्स होते हैं स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एंड लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन कलेक्टिवली दे आर नोन एज योर गट because uh, small intestine and large intestine is the uh, you know organ in which uh, jo bhi aapka khana peena kaise digest hoga kaun se nutrients absorb honge kaun se nutrients uh, kitni amounts mein absorb honge kaun se nutrients active form mein convert honge and kaun se aapki body se bahar aa jayenge uh, so uh, whatever food you are eating Uh, and whatever nutrients you obtain from them is totally decided by the gut, which is your small intestine and large intestine. So, uh, small intestine is something that works really fast, right? So, जैसे ही आपने खाना खाया, आपके stomach में गया, stomach ने उसको churn करा और फिर small intestine के पास भेज दिया nutrients निकालने के लिए. So, जो भी आपका food गया small intestine में most of the nutrients very quickly are absorbed in the uh, small intestine and then kuch uh, nutrients hote hain jinko active form mein convert hona hota hai so it sends them to the liver to convert in the active form uh, the small intestine and all this process is happening very fast uh, and it is totally opposite in the large intestine large intestine mein kya hota hai everything is very slow aur jo bhi aapka food material gaya hai aapke large intestine mein स्लोली सारे हमारे माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म उसको ऑब्जर्व करेंगे देखेंगे ध्यान से कि कौन से हमें रीअब्जॉर्व करने हैं क्या न्यूट्रिएंट्स हैं जो हमें बचाने हैं एंड क्या है जो हमें एक्सक्रीट आउट करने हैं बॉडी से सो इट्स मोस्टली आपकी गट हेल्थ डिसाइड करती है आपकी हेल्थ कैसी होगी दैट्स वाई यू नो देश से वॉट वी ईट इज इज वॉट मेक्स आस 
कि जो हम खाते हैं वही हमारे चेहरे पे दिखता है एंड जैसा आपने भी समझाया स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन हार्ज इंटेस्टाइन के बारे में सो दैट इज वी गेट अ फेयर आइडिया की किस तरह से हमारी बॉडी फंक्शन कर रही है तो कट हेल्थ अभी पहले कट हेल्थ के बारे में इतना लोग बात नहीं करते थे या इतना जानकारी नहीं था उनको खाना मिल रहा है खा लेते थे हम भी कभी कभी खाना मिलता है खा लेते हैं बट अभी आजकल लोग थोड़ा इनलाइटन हो रहे हैं बात कर रहे हैं तो वॉट हैज सडनली गॉट पीपल टू बी टॉकिंग ऑवर कट हेल्थ इट्स मोस्ट अवेयरनेस जैसे जैसे सोशल मीडिया आया है जैसे जैसे ए आई आ रहा है वी आर गेटिंग टू लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू टॉपिक्स बट वाई गट हेल्थ इज सो ट्रेंडिंग इज बिकॉज वेस्टर्नाइजेशन हो रही है ग्लोबलाइजेशन हो रही है हम वेस्टर्न कल्चर अडॉप्ट कर रहे हैं तो हम वेस्टर्न खाना भी अडॉप्ट कर रहे हैं एंड वेस्टर्न खाने में बहुत सारे uh, अगर अच्छी बातें हैं तो थोड़ी नेगेटिव बातें भी हैं जिसकी वजह से नाउ वी हैव सीन एन इंक्रीज इन नंबर ऑफ इन्फ्लोमेटरी बाउल डिजीजेस विच इज योर आईबीएस जिसकी वजह से लोगों को मोर ऑफ ब्लोटिंग एसिडिटी गेस्ट्राइटिस डाइजेस्टिव इश्यू ग्लूटन एलर्जी लैक्टोज इन टॉलरेंस ऐसे इशूज आने लग गए हैं बाहर सो नाउ बिकॉज वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन Uh, people have started talking about gut health and because we have uh, you know all new kinds of health issues and health concerns and food allergies uh, so that is also a reason you know why people are so much interested because aaj ke date pe aap main har koi koi na koi gut issue ya koi na koi digestive issue se go through kar raha hai bilkul bilkul nahi so why is it important to take care of our gut kyun hai itna uh, ye essential hai right ओके तो छोटे से आई गिव यू लाइक वेरी बेसिक पॉइंट्स क्यों गट हेल्थ का ध्यान रखना जरूरी है फर्स्ट फॉर स्टार्टर्स आपकी इम्यूनिटी आपकी गट हेल्थ पे डिपेंड करती है आप की बॉडी इन्फेक्शन से कैसे फाइट करेगी कौन से इन्फेक्शन से फाइट करेगी ये सब कुछ आपकी यू नो गट हेल्थ डिसाइड करती है द बैक्टीरिया प्रेजेंट इन योर गट decides how your immunity is going to be so that's one important point ki aapki gut health aapke immune cells uh, go you know it triggers and uh, it controls uh, how your immunity is going to be a uh, second very important fact that it controls your brain as well it controls your mood it enhances your mood the good bacteria present in your gut can give you a good mood the bad bacteria can give you the bad mood and uh, it it largely affects your cognitive functions also apart from that it it is good like if you have good bacteria it will reflect on your skin it will reflect reflect on your hair health uh, because nowadays it's to, you know uh, linking of skin issues with gut is also there uh, and linking of pehle pehle bolte the ki agar aapko chhala ho jata hai iska matlab ki aapka pet kharab hai agar aapko daane ho rahe hai iska matlab aapka pet kharab hai to uska bolne ka matlab hi hai that is is totally linked with your gut health so even your skin your hair everything and the beauty of gut health is ki it has like our gut has around trillion of trillions of bacteria right तो uh, हर किसी का एक इंडिविजुअल इम्प्रिंट uh, है जैसे हमारा डीएनए है या हमारा फिंगरप्रिंट है एवरीबडी हैज टोटली डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ गट माइक्रोबायोटा और गट माइक्रोबायो तो बिकॉज इट इज सो यूनिक एंड सो डिफरेंट वी आर सो डिफरेंट इन जनरल ऑल दो वी ऑल आर जस्ट सेम बट वी आर आर यू नो द बैक्टीरिया प्रेजेंट इन आर गट इज वॉट डिस्टिंग so uh um, it it controls your immunity it controls your hair health it controls your skin health it controls your mental uh, abilities it controls your cognitive function it controls your mood uh it controls your hormones so uh these we have a lot of reasons to focus on gut health there is a saying you are what you digest can you elaborate yeah. on this and give us your perspective on this for sure so uh let's let's do this with with an example like if we have a pizza in front of it in front of us right and hame pizza khane ka mann kar raha hai so do we eat pizza uh aapke hisab se acha you tell me one thing aapke hisab se hum khana kab shuru karte hain ek meal hamare samne hai hum usko khana kab shuru karte hain jab if when you you gave me the example of a pizza so if a pizza comes in front of me when i see the pizza okay obviously the yeah. smell and also yeah. the 
like you know it has to lure my eye is the beauty the way it's decorated all the colors in it yeah that uh, is yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah right right so that is what i am coming to you know you don't uh, eat food when you put it in your mouth you eat food first with your eyes first with your taste and uh, first with the smell of it right so our sensory organs are working first and we have a pizza in front of us now uh, uh, we are eating a pizza and then we have roti and ghee in front of us okay mm-hmm. even that's very well plated and everything but what would you choose to eat so obviously i would like pizza because i am kind of a yeah. person who is very very fond <laughs> of it it's my favorite <laughs> right right so uh, basically now what happens is uh, you start eating food uh, the moment you smell uh, smell the food right or the moment you see the food now seeda jo hai wo healthy hota ka wo zyada acha hai health ke liye but fir bhi main tempt pizza ki aur hi hoti hu yes definitely and what if i tell you that it's not who you who wants that pizza it's the bad bacteria present in your gut okay <laughs> yeah so basically your uh, sense of taste what for pizza will do is it automatically uh, as soon as you reach dominoes and you smell uh, it will give your you know your eyes and your all your senses will give all the signals to your brain ki ab hum dominoes aaye hain then we are going to get a good meal mm-hmm. and at that very moment in your intestine there is a hormone released which is known as dopamine dopamine is like a, a hormone which gives you happiness so aapko wo pizza kha ke khushi mili to ek cheez ho gayi ki aapko ek cheez kha ke khushi mili aapki body pe dopamine release hua wo khane ke baad aapke bad bacteria ko definitely khushi mili because usme utna fiber nahi hai similarly now when you eat ghee roti salad uh, that is like a uh, a uh, meal that might not make you very happy but it will make your good bacteria present in your gut very happy because it has fiber ab hame hamari pasand ka khana mila hai to hum khush hue similarly jo hamare good bacteria hai uski pasand ka khana hai fiber to aapne fiber khaya to it made you happy so there are two things one thing that might make you happy but might not make the bacteria present in your gut very happy and the second thing is uh maybe you have to compromise on the taste but your good gut bacteria would be really happy so aap kya apne good gut bacteria ko feed kar rahe ho timely ya nahi kar rahe ho wo decide karta hai uh you know how you will look how your hair are going to be as i said ki aap ki jo gut health hai jo micro organisms present in your gut hai they control your immunity अगर आपकी इम्यून सिस्टम अच्छा है मतलब आपको डिजीजेस कम लगेगी आपको डिजीजेस कम लगेंगी तो ऑटोमेटिकली क्या रहेगा यू विल बी हैप्पी यू विल बी मोर एनर्जेटिक यू विल बी मोर यू नो एक्टिव अगर आपकी uh, अगर आपकी गट हेल्थ अच्छी है आपका डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम अच्छा है आपको कोई ब्लोटिंग गेस्ट्राइटिस ऐसी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हो रही है सो यू वुड ऑल्सो फील हैप्पी ऑन दी अदर हैंड इफ यू विल सी अ पर्सन हु you know going through constipation hai ya diarrhea hai ya ibs hai they would be a little bit irritated or agitated wo kyun hota hai it's because uh, what they are eating is it might be it's not right for them which is ultimately leading to you know their mood how their mood is so it's basically what you are eating what you are digesting what you are absorbing and how your body is reacting to the food uh it mostly determines what how you are going to be for the rest of your day very nice and very nicely you explained it by giving us that example of a pizza and the good gut yeah. and the good bacteria and the bad bacteria i think you to join there must be understanding ki kis tarah se hum tempt hote hain us cheez ki now the food i already mentioned this if food impacts the physical health and the mental health how does it impact okay so um food uh, as i told you like uh, apne small intest how it affects your physical health hmm. if you are fo- eating food which is nutrient dense and it is rich in fiber so you will definitely get more nutrients in your system kyunki aapke uh, stomach ka kaam agar hum digestion process ki baat kare 
तो एज आई टोल्ड यू कि हम हम खाना कब स्टार्ट करते हैं विद बी स्मेल एंड टेस्ट ऐसे ही डाइजेशन आपके अकॉर्डिंग कब स्टार्ट होता है डाइजेशन आई थिंक जब हम हमारी बॉडी रेडी होती है हमने खाना खा लिया चू कर लिया जैसे वो अंदर जाता है थ्रू अ फूड पाइप देन इट स्लोली स्टार्ट मोमेंट इट राइट बट द डाइजेशन प्रोसेस स्टार्ट विद इन योर माउथ इट सेल्फ The moment you put the bite inside your mouth, आपका डाइजेस्टिव प्रोसेस स्टार्ट हो चुका है कैसे आपके माउथ में सलाइवा है उसमें एंजाइम है जो कि आपके खाने को सिंपलर फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट कर देते हैं मेकिंग इट रेडी फॉर द स्टमक स्टमक में खाना जब जाता है तो कुछ नहीं है स्टमक इज लाइक अ मिक्सर ग्राइंडर जो आपके फूड को और अच्छी तरह से मिक्स कर रहा है एंड इट इज रिलीजिंग यू नो एसिड एंड क्रिएटिंग इट लाइक डाइजेस्टिंग इट एंड द फाइनल फाइनर फूड मॉलिक्यूल्स आर सेंट टू स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन की अब स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन का काम है एंड नाउ वॉट स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन डाज एंड वाई योर गट हेल्थ इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट इज कि जो भी आपने खाना खाया उसमें से कितने न्यूट्रिय ऑब्जॉर्व होंगे आपके सिस्टम में इट विल बी डिसाइडेड बाई योर स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन तो आपने जो भी खाना खाया आपकी डाइजेशन तो आपके माउथ से स्टार्ट हो गई लेकिन आपकी बॉडी उन न्यूट्रिय को यूज करेगी या नहीं करेगी this will be uh, you know uh, this will be decided by your gut which is in your small intestine so aapka jo you know uh, carbohydrates ka agar main example lu by the time carbohydrates reach your small intestine they are uh, in the disaccharide form uh, and as soon as they reach your intestine they are converted to simpler molecules like glucose or glucose ka simple sa kaam hai aapko energy provide karna so your gut decides ki aapko kitna glucose molecule milega and your gut decides how energetic you are going to be right uh, similarly hum baat kar rahe the ki kaise matlab hame pata lagega ki uh, you know uh, khana hamara properly digest ho raha hai ya nahi ho raha hai now uh, if you are on low on energy and jab bhi you know i uh, deal with a lot of clients who are seeking weight loss yes so uh, what what feedback i get is that they follow the diet and they feel a lot of energy in them even though they are eating less calories uh, earlier when they were not on not following any diet they were eating a lot of calories but still feeling very lazy but now when they eating less calories they are feeling more energetic बिकॉज जो भी कैलरीज उनकी बॉडी में जा रही है उस कैलरी का सोर्स सही है सो मोर देन हाउ मेनी कैलरीज यूर ईटिंग इट मैटर्स की आप वो कैलरीज ऑप्टेन कर कहा से रहे हैं सो इट कंट्रोल एवरी थिंग योर गट कंट्रोल एवरी थिंग lot of audience they joined in and there were a few <laughs> questions and I'm taking those up. There was the first question that came, what is cortisol? अगर आपको सपोज यू मेट विद इन एक्सीडेंट एंड देन यू गॉट इंजर्ड राइट सो आप क्या करोगे रेस्ट करोगे राइट आप रिलैक्स करोगे यू विल टेक अ लीव फ्रॉम योर वर्क एंड यू विल जस्ट लाइक आई वॉज यू नो अभी वेदर चेंज हो रहा है लोगों को फीवर हो रहा है सो वॉट पीपल आर डूइंग दर लाइक टेकिंग ऑफ एंड देन टेकिंग रेस्ट राइट सिमिलरली कॉर्टिसॉल क्या है आप समझ लो इट्स लाइक एन इंजरी टू योर बॉडी एंड देन एवरीथिंग स्लोज डाउन इन द बॉडी ऑल द डाइजेस्टिव प्रोसेस इन योर बॉडी स्लोज डाउन इफ योर कॉर्टिसॉल लेवल्स आर हाई इंस्टेड ऑफ बर्निंग अप कैलरीज Uh, instead of utilizing the calories your body will conserve them will start conserving it so cortisol basically agar aapka cortisol elevated hai yani ki jo aapka cortisol hormone hai which you can get tested if it is elevated in uh, in which is usually elevated in very stressful situations uh, what will happen aapki jo digestive process hai aapki jo digestion ka process hai it will take a step back और बोलेगा कि अभी आपको मेंटल रेस्ट अभी आपकी बॉडी को रेस्ट की जरूरत है सो इंस्टेड ऑफ यू नो यूटिलाइजिंग द कैलरीज इट विल स्टार्ट स्टोरिंग द कैलरीज स्टोरिंग द कैलरीज एंड आपकी बॉडी में कहा स्टोर होती है किस फॉर्म में स्टोर होती है इट इज स्टोर्ड एज फैट इन योर बॉडी 
सो जब भी आपका कोर्टिसोल एलिवेटेड होगा देर आर चांसेस यू विल अक्यूमिलियट मोर फैट इन योर सिस्टम सो दैट्स दैट्स हाउ दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ इट राइट कि अगर आपका कोर्टिसोल बढ़ेगा तो आपकी बॉडी आपको रेस्ट देने के लिए क्या करेगी रेस्ट देने के लिए इट विल स्टार्ट कंजर्विंग द एनर्जी वो कैसे होगा इट विल बी स्टोर्ड एज फैट इन द बॉडी एंड फैट होगा फिर हमें और स्ट्रेस होगा फिर हमारे स्ट्रेस लेवल्स और बढ़ जाएंगे सो दैट इज हाउ इट इज ऑल इंटर रिलेटेड एंड इंटर कनेक्टेड सो there was like uh, now i understand when people get stressed they say like you know don't take too much of stress it impacts yeah. your health you start gaining yeah. weight and this is why because your hormones are all imbalanced at that time so dear yeah. audience stress jab aapko kaam ka stress aaye jab aapko aapke studies ho ya kuch bhi ho bachcho jo har cheez mein har phase of our life there are the moments where we get stressed right, and yeah. this stress can impact your gut your health lead to weight gain so you can take a break relax yeah. cortisol says keep take a break relax sit back and enjoy and then you can resume work there are so many other you questions know, you know, one basic tip how to combat stress and get your cortisol levels lower down one tip that will help everyone everyone the spend time with nature yeah spend time with nature spend time around greenery whenever you will spend time around greenery and flowers and plants and trees or you will see any water body lakes rivers you know that's why people go on vacations right uh, to get them, themselves de stress and we feel uh, you know we feel less stress when ever we are on a vacation because we are around the nature we are around the beauty of the nature so nature actually releases dopamine which is your happy hormone uh, the same hormone that you get from eating a pizza right uh, which was uh, which i was talking about earlier yeah. so uh, nature releases the same hormone in your system uh, called dopamine which makes you happy which lowers your cortisol ultimately leading to a good health so uh, that's why maybe brisk walking every day in a park for around 20 minutes is a very good practice if you are highly stressed so that's why aapko bahut sare like doctors also suggest ki aapko physical activity har roz karni chahiye taki aap fit and healthy rahe so that's very important for the mental health as well so here there are so yes. many other questions that have come up i'll be taking them one by one so there was one more yeah. question which i got in the share he wanted to know about his triglyceride levels like they are around 400 and how can he monitor his triglyceride levels through diet okay so triglycerides uh, are basically covered in your lipid profile test right whenever we get our lipid profile uh, we get triglycerides we get hdl ldl bldl these are the levels and total cholesterol so it's basically how much fat is there in your body and what kind of fat is there so uh, your triglycerides your ldl and your vldl they are like bad cholesterols uh which you know cause causes problem and then there is hdl which is your good cholesterol which is actually very good for you right so uh whenever your triglycerides and vldl is highly elevated you are at a risk of getting uh heart diseases uh atherosclerosis which is basically the blockage of the arteries hypertension which is your blood pressure elevated blood pressure so agar aapki body mein triglycerides and vldl which is your bad cholesterol is high it means aapko uh, high uh, risk hai kaise issues hone ka heart issues hone ka okay. right so isko kam karne ke liye aapne sabse pehle kya karna hai aapne apni diet mein se trans fats ya synthetic fats jo bhi hote hain usko remove karna hai now what are trans fats and where are they present they are present in all the packaged foods chips uh you know biscuits margarine banaspati dalda uh and all all the saturated fats cause your triglycerides to elevate apart from that agar hum oil ko bar 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 reheat karte hain it converts to trans fats so कुछ भी आप बाहर से तला हुआ ले रहे हैं दे आर नॉट चेंजिंग ऑयल फॉर यू सो दैट्स वाई यू नो इवन आई से दिस टू माई क्लाइंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ईट पूरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ईट भटूरा आई विल प्लान इट इन योर डाइट एंड यू मेक इट एट होम एंड ईट बिकॉज इट विल डेफिनेटली बी मोर हेल्थी 
लेकिन अगर आप कहीं पे भी बाहर जा रहे हैं बाहर जाके खा रहे हैं ऑफकोर्स देयर पर्पज इज टू गिव यू टेस्ट सो दैट यू कम बैक अगैन एंड देयर पर्पज इज टू सेव देयर कॉस्ट तो दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज द ऑयल फॉर यू uh every time you know you fry so uh, you have to be very careful of uh, the food joints you choose to eat it is always better advisable to make at home and eat so uh jab bhi aap kisi oil ko smoking point pe uh pahunchane ke baad we heat karte hain it converts into trans fat it, it this is a practice and a mistake that we do uh in the in the, in the name of healthy eating what uh many people uh, do wrong is they are you know deep frying food in olive oil but i want to tell you mm. that olive oil mm. uh, is something which has the lowest smoking point it has the lowest smoking point uh, agar aap mustard oil or olive oil ko same temperature mein heat karte ho you will see uh, smoke olive oil mein se bahut jaldi niklega as compared to mustard oil now when the smoking point of olive oil is achieved mm-hmm. uh uske baad kya hai aap usme kuch bhi paka rahe ho it is trans fat now it is causing more uh, free radical damage in your system it is going to elevate your cholesterol which is in general olive oil a very healthy oil to eat and it actually reduces the bad cholesterol lekin aap jo usko heat kar diya usme se dhuaan nikal diya aur usme aap cooking kare ja rahe ho kare ja rahe ho kare ja rahe ho podiya tane ja rahe ho you are just eating trans fat it is always advisable to use mustard oil for high temperature cooking the reason behind that is ki mustard oil ka smoking point sabse uh, late aata hai as compared to all the oils right similarly ghee ghee is uh, the most common you know thing that is misunderstood yeah yeah so ghee actually is saturated fat but uh, because of the antioxidants present in it because of certain fatty acids present in it it is actually very very healthy for you but again how you use desi ghee it matters if you are using it as a topping on your chapati it's very good it will make you happy it will make the good bacteria present in your gut happy it will make your colon happy because it will act as a lubricant right and it will uh, definitely uh, reduce your bad cholesterol and increase your good cholesterol which is actually required but when again you are uh, using ghee and you are cooking it uh, for making like parathas एंड देन उसमें से स्मोक निकल रहा है अगर आप कभी भी पराठे बनाते हो तो आप देखोगे कि बहुत स्मोक निकलता है तब ऐसे जब आप ऊपर घी या ऑयल लगाते हो तो डेफिनेटली वो जो रीजन ये छोटी छोटी प्रैक्टिस है जो हो सकता है हम अपने घर में कर रहे हो या बाहर का हम कुछ ऐसा खा रहे हो जिसकी वजह से हमारा कोलेस्ट्रॉल एलिवेट हो रहा है तो अब आपको अगर कोलेस्ट्रॉल एलिवेट है तो आपने करना क्या है यू डोंट है panic and start eating boiled foods now you just have to eliminate the trans fats from your diet uh, restrict the quantity of ghee olive oil butter and uh, all the all the other oils whatever you are eating the healthy kind of oil that you should incorporate in your diet olive oil always as a topping in salads ya bahut low temperature cooking ke liye desi ghee again for very low temperature cooking or just as a topping uh, mustard oil can be used for high temperature cooking some of the vegetables require high temperature cooking like when you cook karela or when you cook bhindi they require a lot of high temperature cooking so that time you can use mustard oil otherwise uh, of course jo hamare refined oils hote hain uh, ab main baat kar rahi thi synthetic fat ki ke hum usko bar bar heat karte hain bar bar heat karte hain सो so, जब आपके पास जो हमारे वेजिटेबल ऑयल्स आते हैं वो ऑलरेडी दो बार 200 डिग्री प्लस फेरानाइट पे प्रिजर्व होकर आते हैं सो प्रोसेस होकर आते हैं सो दे आर ऑलरेडी हाईली प्रोसेस एंड दे हैव ऑलरेडी अटेन देयर स्मोकिंग पॉइंट सो यूजिंग वेजिटेबल ऑयल्स एक्चुअली इंक्रीजेस योर बैड कोलेस्ट्रॉल सो वी हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी कॉशियस ऑफ वॉट वी आर यूजिंग इन द होम एंड एज वेल एज यू नो क्योंकि बाहर जाना बाहर का कुछ भी खाना इज नॉट इन आर कंट्रोल सो एटलीस्ट वी कैन चेंज दिस टाइनी लिटिल थिंग्स इन द होम इट सेल्फ 
वही है कि लाइक हम शायद चीजें हमारे अराउंड सही है एवरीथिंग अराउंड फाइन बट देन वे वी आर ईटिंग इट द वे वी आर प्रैक्टिस द स्मॉल प्रैक्टिस दैट इज वेरी प्रिपेयरिंग तरीके से खाओ सही चीज खाओ और ऐसा नहीं है की आप तला बुना खा रहे हो तो आप मतलब अपने बॉडी अपने कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल्स के साथ आप टैंपर कर रहे हो बट सही तरीके से हमारे बॉडी एक और हमारे साथ जुड़ी है ऑडियंस जो पूछ रही है कि इज इट गुड टू गेट अ गट टेस्ट विदाउट एनी सिम्टम्स यू कैन फॉर रेगुलर पर्पस बिकॉज आई एम समन हु इज ऑलवेज इन फेवर ऑफ गेटिंग रेगुलर हेल्थ चेकअप इवन यू नो एनी क्लाइंट हु कम्स अप टू मी फॉर कंसल्टेशन माई क्वेश्चन टू दिम देन इज डिड यू गेट एनी ब्लड चेकअप डन इन लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स so if you at all you have any kind of gut issues or any kind of gastric issues yes you should get it done but if you are someone who you know wants who's very conscious in general for your health and you want to you know know more your more about your body and you want to stay alert then definitely regular health checkups is something that is very very important and should be done because i have lost a family members uh, because of not getting regular health check up and ignoring the health so this topic is really close to my heart because uh, not 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 very long ago we lost a family member because of uh, lack of health check ups uh, so make sure you are doing it from a very good lab and make sure you are uh, you know doing it regularly especially if you have any health issues you must do it regularly it should be like you eat food every day you get your uh, you know how important eating food every day is it should be like it should be of the same importance getting your regular health check ups every 6 months or every year uh, should be a part of your life uh, it is as important as eating food in fact jaisa aapne abhi bola you lost a family member close to your heart is there an i know few stories there are people who neglect they feel that like we are walking there's no symptoms so we are healthy but there was a friend of mine and she was absolutely fine and healthy but achanak se kya hua she was like ki i was going for a health check up so i told her ki come along you also do it so you went with me so i told her take it na so ki nahi kuch bimari to hai nahi you do man Where she took the health test and all, and my parameters were good, and hers like there were some symptoms of the thyroid, yeah. the hormone yeah. levels, and other things. And then she was like, you know, because this is my breath. Like I told you, you should keep a check on it, even if you look fitter and healthier. There might be symptoms that, that are doesn't mean that you are healthy and fit. Definitely. See, uh, reaching your ideal body weight is one thing, and uh, being healthy. You know, that's why uh, weighing scale is a very, very uh, a vague measurement of your health so never never rely on just weighing scale that oh uh, i am just 4 5 kg overweight mm-hmm. but you know i am low on energy you, i have you know people uh, coming to me for diet that we are not wanting to work on a weight because our weight is still fine but we feel low on energy we don't feel active throughout the day we feel lazy we feel lethargic so i want to you know overcome that or you know my weight is still fine but i have lot of uh, reflux acid reflux that's why i'm looking for a diet so i have people coming up to me for diets for these situations when they are in general in you know very close to their ideal body weight uh, in their correct bmi but they might not be very healthy Yeah, there is a saying. The saying goes right: the looks can be deceptive. जो दिखता है वो अक्सर होता नहीं है. Very true for our body. Regular health checkups are very, very important. They are extremely important. Yes. So there, there are few positive comments about this session. They write so they are valuable tips given by you, and then it's an informative session. Surely it is. Then there is one more question. we have that asks that can i check my gut without doctor's help uh, uh can you check your gut without your doctor's help that's the question yes that's the question uh or i think we 
to be without doctor's advice that's what she meant that even without, without consulting doctor's advice yeah so um, yes you can get it done as a part of your regular health checkup because uh, see what happens is agar aap regular health like i if i go to a, a doctor's uh, mm -hmm. uh, like if i have to get my health checkup done i would not uh, uh, you know consult a doctor first because i have certain knowledge about it because i have studied all these things but if you are not aware of these things make sure you go to a trustworthy doctor and then consult if you really need uh, the test or what all tests or regular health checkups you should get done otherwise in many many uh, labs they are offering preventive health checkups uh, for women or for men or for you know uh, for certain age groups there are preventive health checkups so preventive health checkups can be done uh, as a part of your normal lifestyle uh, like you you joining taking a gym membership you don't take a doctor's advice before that uh, you should actually you should because nowadays we are seeing a lot of people getting a heart attack in gym right so yes. maybe they have some underlying heart issue and they are not getting regularly tested they mm -hmm. join the gym and then uh, boom uh, heart attack like that so uh, it is very important to get regular health check up uh, uh, it's it's not absolutely necessary to get a doctor's uh, like uh, this thing but uh, if you are going for a regular health check up then there are a lot of preventive packages available so you can go for that or you can definitely consult a uh, consult a dietitian or a doctor if you are facing any issues you can always discuss it with a dietitian or a doctor and uh, see what they recommend So yes, following that is one more question, ma'am. Please tell me how do I know if my gut is unhealthy? Uh, how would I know if my gut is unhealthy? So you would see symptoms uh, such as acne. Uh, you would see very dull skin, dull hair, brittle hair. Uh, apart from that, you will get um, uh, if I talk about digestive issues, uh, acid reflux, acidity, constipation. um and uh, or diarrhea or you know feeling bloated after eating a particular thing so all these could be uh, signs of your uh, poor gut health very low on immunity now uh, let's let's just talk about how, how does our gut health gets affected or you know what are the things that actually uh, uh, makes our gut health poor so first thing that actually affects your gut health is of course what you are eating if you are not eating enough amount of fiber then of course you would have uh, in general more bad bacteria than uh, good gut bacteria because the good bacteria in your gut feeds on fiber most ka khana hai agar aap usko wo nahi doge to wo nahi grow karega secondly maybe you are eating a lot of probiotics probiotics pro probiotics drinking a lot of probiotic drinks but what mistake you do is you don't realize that it is very high in sugar a diet very high in sugar a diet very high in uh, you know processed uh, foods is uh, the enemy of uh, your gut health and it would uh, affect your you know it would uh, lead to like we gave it we started this conversation with an example of a pizza now let's understand why pizza makes bad bad bacteria in your gut happy and the good bacteria in your gut sad because pizza is made up of refined flour that's your maida maida yes. is unhealthy because it's low in fiber so it does not contain food that will feed your good gut bacteria but why it makes the bad bacteria happy is because it will give you a lot of glucose lot of simple carbs will give you a lot of glucose which will make your bad gut bacteria happy because it feeds on that and then there is nothing left for the good bacteria and then symptoms you see constipation uh poor gut health uh, bloating acidity weight gain uh when you when you whenever you eat pizza the next day <laughs> so these are the symptoms that you can see uh and then uh uske ilawa uh, antibiotics if you are on very high dose of antibiotics or if you are taking a lot of antacids so ye aapki gut health ko bahut zyada deteriorate kar, kar sakta hai so make sure aap kabhi bhi ill hai bimar hai uh, ya aap kabhi bhi antibiotics pe hai please apne doctor se boliye ki mujhe probiotics zarur saath mein likh ke dijiye and 
किसी न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट से कंसिडर करिए कि क्या ऐसे फूड्स हैं जो आपको यू नो प्रोबायोटिक्स के साथ खाने चाहिए क्योंकि प्रोबायोटिक्स अकेले काम नहीं करते हैं प्रोबायोटिक्स फॉर प्रोबायोटिक्स टू वर्क यू नीड प्रीबायोटिक्स विच इज बेसिकली वेयर योर गुड बैक्टीरिया विल ग्रो सो देर आर सर्टन फूड्स लाइक जब भी हमें बुखार होता है हम बोलते खिचड़ी दही खाओ क्यों बिकॉज द राइट इज प्रीबायोटिक्स थर्ड इज प्रोबायोटिक्स सो यू आर गेटिंग लाइक गुड बैक्टीरिया तो एंटीबायोटिक्स के साथ गुड बैक्टीरिया जा रहा है प्लस गुड बैक्टीरिया का खाना भी जा रहा है सो दैट हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट यू नो इट इज टू फोकस ऑन दीज स्मॉल थिंग बिकॉज दे कैन इम्पैक्ट लार्जली योर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड योर ओवरऑल हेल्थ इन जेनरल सो एंटीबायोटिक्स इज अगेन वन ऑफ द लीडिंग कॉजेस ऑफ पुअर गट है एब्सोल्युटली सो हम क्या करते हैं वी ऑलवेज आई हैव सीन दैट मार्केट में जो प्रोबायोटिक्स होते हैं आई जस्ट ग्रैब होल्ड ऑफ देम एंड आई स्टार्ट ड्रिंकिंग इट सो दैट्स अ गुड टिप दैट यू गिव इन नो नॉट टू डू दैट सो देयर इज वन मोर क्वेश्चन लिवर प्रॉब्लम को कैसे सही करें अभी क्या लिवर प्रॉब्लम है आपने वो तो मेंशन नहीं किया बट देन यस इन जनरल हाउ कैन वन टेक केयर ऑफ देयर लिवर हाउ टू टेक केयर ऑफ देयर लिवर Okay, so liver uh, is your key metabolic organ. I call it liver as your body's best friend, and uh, it's like the most ignored organ in your body. I don't know why liver is so ignored, <laughs> but liver is performing all your digestive functions in your body. आपके कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स डाइजेस्ट होंगे with the help of liver. आपके प्रोटीन्स डाइजेस्ट होंगे with the help of liver. Many of your nutrients like vitamin D. Uh, are converted into its active form inside your liver. आपका इवन ब्लड कॉगुलेशन विच हैपन विद हेल्प ऑफ विटामिन के इज ऑल्सो एक्टिवेटेड इन लिवर सो लिवर इट डिटॉक्सिफाइज योर बॉडी अगर आप खाना खा रहे हो आप जो भी खाना खा रहे हो आपके खाने के साथ आप मान के चलो कि आप थोड़े बहुत टॉक्सिन भी खा रहे हो सो एज सिंपल फूड एज दाल कैन गिव यू टॉक्सिन इन योर बॉडी तो आपके लिवर का काम है उन टॉक्सिन को एक्सक्रीट आउट करना बॉडी से देन यू आर हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो इन जनरल अगर हम बात करें तो इफ यू कंज्यूम अल्कोहल और इफ यू स्मोक और एनीथिंग लाइक दैट लाइक एनी काइंड ऑफ टॉक्सिन लाइक दैट योर लिवर फंक्शन इज टू एक्सक्रीट इट आउट ऑफ योर बॉडी सो लिवर इज अ वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग बॉडी तो आप कुछ भी ऐसा कर रहे हो जिससे आपके लिवर के ऊपर और प्रेशर आ रहा है या आपकी लिवर हेल्थ अफेक्ट हो रही है देन यू आर डूइंग यू नो कहते हैं ना अपने पैर पे कुल्हाड़ी मारना आप वो कर रहे हो क्योंकि लिवर इज योर की मेटाबॉलिक ऑर्गन इट कंट्रोल्स ऑल योर मेटाबॉलिक फंक्शंस इट कंट्रोल्स ऑल योर यू नो डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन प्रोग्राम एवरीथिंग इज डन बाई लिवर ना इफ यू हैव डिज इज लाइक then there is non alcoholic fatty liver or alcoholic fatty liver or liver cirrhosis or jaundice so what is happening is uh, your liver will shut down at a, at a time and then it will never recover on its own if it is go- going to irreversible damage but there are certain stages to liver damage and aapko pata bhi nahi lagega ki aapka liver damage ho raha hai jaise agar uh, aap uh, you know hum fatty liver ko agar like you would see people every day in your labs right a uh, fatty liver is not even considered a disease nowadays right grade 1 grade 2 is considered nothing ki jab tak grade 3 nahi mm-hmm. hota to koi chinta ki baat nahi hai but mm-hmm. agar mm-hmm. aapko mm-hmm. fatty mm-hmm. liver hai yeah so it is not even considered a disease many times that fatty liver is a problem but it is a problem because ek wo bhi reversible stage pe hai you can reverse the damage that you are causing to your liver बट एक बार वो इन रिवर्सिबल स्टेज पे चला गया यू कैन नेवर गेट इट बैक यू कैन नेवर गेट इट बैक सो इफ यू हैव फैटी लिवर प्लीज स्टार्ट टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर लिवर द वे यू कैन टेक केयर ऑफ योर लिवर अगर आपको फैटी लिवर है इट मीन्स लाइक इट्स द फर्स्ट स्टेज राइट सो हम बहुत बेसिक सी उसके बारे में बात करते हैं दैट वट हैपन जब आपको फैटी लिवर है तो आपके डाइजेस्टिव इश्यूज थोड़े थोड़े होने स्टार्ट होंगे सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू टेक केयर ऑफ योर लिवर Uh, foods that will help improve your liver health is uh, सबसे simple और basic मूली radish radish is extremely good for your liver health अगर हमें कभी जॉन्डिस होता है तो हम बोलते हैं मूली खाओ सो मूली इज वेरी गुड फॉर योर लिवर हेल्थ बिकॉज इट ऑल्सो डिटॉक्सिफाइज योर सिस्टम 
then uh, apart from your radish a uh, lot of uh, low fat diet jab bhi hum jaise maine aapko bataya tha ki agar hame koi injury hoti hai to hame kya karna hai rest karna hai similarly agar aapko liver issue hai fatty liver grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 hai ya koi bhi liver ka xyz issue hai to aapko kya karna hai aapko liver ko rest dena hai na ki usse aur mehnat karani hai so aapko simple khana khana hai bilkul ghar ka khana khana hai koi bhi aisa khana nahi khana जिसमें प्रोन हो कि आपको कोई भी तरीके का इन्फेक्शन हो सके जैसे कि अगर हम बाहर से खाना खाते हैं स्पेशली ड्यूरिंग मॉनसून वी आर एट अर रिस्क ऑफ गेटिंग टाइफॉइडीरिया योर डाइजेशन सो इट्स इट्स जेनरली एडवाइजेबल की जब भी लिवर हेल्थ खराब है या लिवर हेल्थ आपकी रिपोर्ट ठीक नहीं आई है देन यू नीड टू ईट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सिंपल इजी टू डाइजेस्ट फूड Simple, uh, like you have to eat a lot of uh, you know fiber and you have to definitely focus on your weight if you are overweight or obese mm. then you will definitely are having your liver more so focus on your weight and start losing weight kyunki jo bhi extra fat aapne khaya hai wo liver mein store hota hai mm. and uh, if you are uh, drinking alcohol mm. uh, and you are having uh, fatty liver uh, then it is time for you to quit alcohol quit all together i am not just saying avoid i am saying quit all together because you are aapke aap ek injured body organ ko aur mehnat karaye ja rahe ho aur kehte hain na ek bari zakham pe aap bar bar maro so it becomes poisonous right so liver agar aapka already injured hai aur aap bar 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 you know you consuming alcohol you consuming a diet which is very high in fats aap bar 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 उस इंजर्ड ऑर्गन को हिट कर रहे हो जिससे अल्टीमेटली क्या होगा एक दिन इट विल शट डाउन एंड देन यू विल हैव नो अदर ऑप्शन सो दैट्स व्हाई लिवर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ सोल्यूटली देयर आर पीपल हु निगलेक्ट देयर हेल्थ एंड दे बिकॉज़ ऑफ द बिजी शेड्यूल्स दे कीप निगलेक्टिंग देयर हेल्थ एंड व्हाट एडवाइस यू हैव फॉर सच पीपल हु फॉर एग्जांपल दे सफरिंग from health concerns but because of their schedules they are continuously neglecting their gut their overall skin care their self care they are completely neglecting that what advice would you like to give such people okay so i would uh, give advice i think uh, everybody working uh, or any any person in general would take a good care of their personal hygiene right we would brush our teeth every day we would bathe uh, and we would clean ourselves so uh, we take good care of our external hygiene we wash hands before eating meals maybe sanitize uh, if we touch any dirty surface uh, i request all these people who are busy and have an extremely difficult schedule please focus on your internal hygiene as well uh, what is internal hygiene so it's basically the food that you are eating should be toxin free uh you have to make sure of that so uh, how you can make sure of that is by eating more of home cooked meals because you will take care of the hygiene and not people from outside they won't bother about it so uh, uh, in situations in daily lifestyle if possible eat home cooked food uh, eat well cooked food right uh, take care of your a uh, hygiene practices whenever you are making food so that your immunity is not affected because if your immunity is affected of course your liver will have to do extra function to excrete out all the toxins and then you are you will get ill then you will have to take antibiotics so sabse pehle apne hygiene ka dhyan rakhe apne uh, personal hygiene ka apne khane ke hygiene ka bahut zyada dhyan rakhe because wahi se sab shuru hota hai क्योंकि आप बीमार होंगे फिर आप एंटीबायोटिक्स खाओगे आपकी गट हेल्थ खराब होगी आप बीमार होंगे टॉक्सिस वाला खाना खाओगे फिर आपकी लीवर हेल्थ खराब होगी सो इट इज द कॉज ऑफ ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स सो टेक गुड केयर ऑफ योर हाइजीन सेकेंड व्हाट व्हाट पीपल विद अ वेरी बिजी स्केड्यूल कैन डू इज आई नो यू डोंट हैव टाइम फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग हेल्दी मील्स एवरी टाइम सो मे बी प्रिपेयर वन हेल्दी मील एंड रिपीट इट फॉर लाइक रिपीट इट फॉर टू और मोर मील्स Like what I generally advise to my clients, उनका स्केड्यूल बहुत बिजी रहता है तो उनको बोलते हो कि लाइक अगर आप ब्रेकफास्ट बना रहे हो तो आप ब्रेकफास्ट में पोहा बना रहे हो हाउ कैन यू मेक लाइक पोहा कम्प्लीट फूड बाई एडिंग बिट ऑफ स्प्राउट्स टू इट बॉइल स्प्राउट्स एंड एडिंग लॉट ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स टू इट नाउ इट हैज कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन्स फाइबर एवरीथिंग नाउ 
uh, you can make it in extra quantity and use the same thing for your lunch if you don't have time to prepare a different lunch meal altogether. This will save on your time. But uh, you, this will save on your time and you will have like generally a healthier option. Uh, so uh, maybe uh, repeat your meals if you can't cook too many meals, but try and have more home cooked meals. Uh, thirdly, uh, eating, I know the, the, the major problem that people with a busy schedule face is not being able to eat on right timings. So timings in general affect a lot of your health. Aapkis time pe kha rahe ho, affects very much because agar aapka, suppose uh, if your dinner is too late, uh, it will be, you know, uh, it will take longer time to digest because aapki, jaysa pehne bataya ki, sa eyes break ko signal deti hai, jaysa sunset ho jata hai, vaysa hi aapki eyes break ko signal deti hai, that time to sleep is approaching, jaysa hi sunset hua hai, raat hai, ab kya kaam hai, humara sona kaam hai. So, your eyes, your brain ko signal hai that time to sleep is approaching and aapko sare digestive juices, digestive enzymes and hormones ki production ko slow down karna hai. Agar ye nahi hoga, to kya hoga? Agar aapki eyes ye signal brain ko nahi deti and brain sare digestive juices or hormones ki production ko kam nahi karta. Aap raat ko sote sote you can go into hypoglycemia and you can die. Matlab insulin अगर उसी पेस पे प्रोड्यूस होता रहा होता रहा होता रहा जिस पेस पे वो मॉर्निंग में प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है तो आप रात को सोते सोते यू कैन पास अवे बिकॉज़ आपका ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल बहुत ज्यादा ड्रॉप हो जाएगा सो बॉडी सिग्नल देती है और जितना लेट आप खाना खाते हैं उतने कम डाइजेस्टिव जूसेस उतने कम डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स बचते हैं आपके फूड को डाइजेस्ट करने के लिए so make sure you are having your, especially your dinner on time. Agar aapka schedule aapko dinner nahi allow karta 8 o'clock tak wind up karne ke liye late to late. Then make sure your dinner is very light. Your dinner is not very high in proteins, not very high in carbs and not a very heavy tea. It is very light. Make sure of that. Taki wo easily digest ho jaya. Then if you are taking care of your health and you are not seeking to lose weight just in general taking care of health, then uh, try and incorporate a lot of fluids in your diet. Because, uh, as we talked about small intestine and large intestine, that large intestine works very slowly and observe each nutrient that what we need to take back and what we need to take back from our system. So, make sure you are taking care of your health and what we need to take back from our system. So, make sure you are taking care of your health and what we need to take back from our system. So, for your large intestine to function properly, keeps on absor absorbing a lot of water. So you have to be, uh, you know, uh, your diet has to be rich in fluids. So make sure coconut water, soup, lemon water, plain water, uh, vegetable juice, all these drinks and beverages are a part of your diet. And eating a very heavy meal at once is not advisable. Rather than dividing your calories throughout the day in small portions is much more advisable. Uh, to take care of your health in general. Many people, they do not understand this and they don't even understand what gut microbiomes are. Can you tell us something right. about how the gut microbiomes function and how we can keep our gut healthy so that we stay like, you know, happy over the Right. So gut microbiome. Basically, uh, uh, your gut has, 95% uh, of your gut has a bacteria. The other uh, percentage could be a little bit of fungi and uh, protozoans and, and all that. Mm. So 95% uh, of your bacteria, uh, gut has bacteria, comprises of bacteria, which, which is different for everyone. It is unique for everyone. It is as unique as your fingerprint. It is as unique as your DNA. So uh, what is there in your gut, what all bacteria are there in your gut, is totally, uh, you know, dependent on what you are eating and it or what what your lifestyle has been in general. Uh, now, uh, nowadays, uh, you know, it, it starts from the moment you are born. If you are having a normal vaginal delivery, you would have exposure to more bacteria in your system. So your immunity would be more stronger rather than uh, compared to a cesarean or a C-section delivery, right? So from the moment of you are born, 
you are getting exposure to a lot of bacteria and collectively it decides that uh, you know uh, how your gut microbiome is going to be so gut microbiome is nothing but the bacteria different kind of bacteria and enzymes present in your gut that is your gut microbiome so so ever is yeah sorry. how frequently uh, i i ask how frequently should one get their gut microbiome tested to know how healthy is their gut okay if you have gut issues in general hmm. you can repeat it every 6 to 8 months if uh, uh, your gut uh, you are not having any issues hmm. and you are just doing uh, it for regular health checkups maybe once a year there are many people who believe that you know gut health and self care are two different things they feel that ki ye alag alag cheeze hain but and but is that true and uh, have you met someone who feels that this is a, like self care and gut health are two different things not me many, many people realize that they are not as i have not seen anybody who thinks that uh, it is a part of your self care how your gut is gut gut should be mm-hmm. so not many people think that it is it is even you know a part of your self care maybe that's the reason we are not thinking uh, before uh, you know eating or we are not thinking uh, what we are putting inside in our mouth uh, before even uh, you know uh, observing that if it is worth it or not so not many people know that it is a part of your self care only like we will do a lot of you know skin care we we'll do a lot of hair care hmm. but ultimately if you are not eating the right kind of foods if you are not you know if your hormones are going half hazard then you no, no matter what product how much expensive product you are putting on your hair if you are having hypothyroid in your enzymes are not coming in control your hormone is not coming in control it does not matter what you know how expensive of a product you apply you are definitely going to have bad hair if you have thyroid so uh, it is it, re- it relies and depends on what what foods you are eating for sure but of course uh, what kind of bacteria is present in your gut the more the good ba- gut, gut bacteria is there the more the skin quality the more the hair quality would be there um the poor your gut health is the more the bad bacteria is there in your gut um you know uh, the the more skin problems the more dryness in your hair or more hair problems you will see so it's it's pretty pretty much like your skin care your gut gut health taking care of your gut health is pretty much like your skin care so uh, why i compare the two is because that people would you know definitely focus a lot on how they are looking externally but they won't focus on what's going on inside their system so uh, it's it's very important to take care of your gut health as you take care of your skin or your hair in general absolutely when like you know, as you said that self care and gut health they are not two different things it all reflects on your skin on your yeah. body so it's an yeah. integral part and that is something i think yeah. everybody needs to understand yeah. so when you wash, it, wash your face every day then why mm-hmm. not eat fiber every day why not get 25 grams of fiber which your body requires every day why not so it's it's just very simple so should we keep changing our diet like frequently like different different items in our diet or how should our plate look like or how our should, how our diet should be that matter it should be diverse for sure one thing that i like about indian uh, culture is that we are diverse diverse in nature it's it should be for sure it should be diverse why because uh, whenever you are eating the food uh, you are getting different kind of nutrients from it eating roti every day uh, not incorporating rice in your diet I'll just give you very few basic examples like every day uh, one if if a client is coming up to me and they saying they are uh, eat roti for roti sabji for breakfast roti sabji for lunch roti sabji for dinner so they are you know limiting their sources of nutrients limiting the sources of fiber because everything gives you different kind of fiber also because there are uh, you know there is soluble fiber there is insoluble fiber and uh, there are like in in foods also there are different kinds of categorizations right so if uh, 
they say you should change your oils also frequently why because uh, you know uh, you have to keep on changing uh, things you have to keep on so that you get more diversity more diversity in your food so uh, uh, of course if you get eating more variety of foods you are getting different kinds of nutrients and you are exposing your uh, you know bacteria also you are exposing your digestive juices you are exposing your bacteria present in your gut to all different kinds of uh, food groups all different kinds of nutrients all different kinds of fibers so it is very important to create a diversity so that your body can digest everything uh nowadays you know there is a lot of uh, uh miscommunication or lack of knowledge what what you should feed to the child uh you should not give this you should not give that you can't you know you can't give the baby when whenever we start meaning you can't give the baby this you can't give the baby that so all the new mothers are you know like panicking uh, what should we give our child to eat but uh my take on that is a little bit different from what uh, the trend is going on my take on that is give the child different varieties of food make sure it's well cooked because uh, it will take some time for them to develop more immunity but if at this stage you will start giving them all different kind of taste all different kind of food groups all different kind of so they their taste buds are now developing and they will like everything uh, throughout this now if you start giving them packed cereals mm. you know packed uh, packaged foods at this time when their taste buds are developing uh, then you it is definitely going to be affected number one number two you are going to have life long problems feeding that child because now that child is prone to eating a processed food a food with uh, you know artificial flavors artificial taste so uh, it's my request you know and why i'm talking about this stage is because that that's the stage that will decide what you are going to eat for the rest of your life if you have eaten home cooked uh, if you have eaten fresh food if you have eaten all kinds of taste at that time when your taste buds are growing and developing you will eat all good foods throughout your uh, life but if you will you know start feeding your child or start weaning with market made processed foods that's what your child is going to like forever and then you are going to have lifelong problems and that is the time when your most of the good uh, most of the bacteria are also forming in your gut so it keeps on forming and it keeps on changing the bacteria present on your gut it keeps on changing and the more variety the better it is and more variety you will get from more exposure more exposure to the outside environment more exposure to the you know different kind of foods that's how important more exposure uh, is for your uh, bacteria there are a few questions i'll just take those yeah. up there is someone who's asking is going very well we can take uh, questions <laughs> i don't i don't mind <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is indeed so there is one more question where the customer asked that uh, how do i reverse my bp are there any medicines that can help them reverse it okay. or any medications okay so blood pressure is something you know what what my biggest achievement throughout my career is my biggest achievement is i was able to reverse hypertension for a patient and her medication stopped after taking the diet from me for 2 years continuously she took the diet from me and her bp medication which was uh, which she was taking from last 10 years stopped so that i considered as the biggest achievement of my life and she is she is very loving she is she is a very loving client to me and uh, so bp is reversible uh, and you can definitely uh, by reverse your blood pressure by losing weight if you are overweight or obese constantly checking your uh, you know monitoring your lipid profile and monitoring your blood pressure these are the two most important things that you have to keep on monitoring uh, the foods that can help you uh, get your uh, blood pressure uh, lower is uh, omitting uh, high caffeine foods omitting high sodium foods omitting highly processed foods or foods which contains a lot of preservatives and adding more of potassium to your diet 
very basic simple so we were talking and this happens in your intestine your blood pressure uh, the science behind uh, what i just said is in your small intestine which is your gut so your gut has a uh, uh, you know a uh, uh, brush border enzymes and uh, what happens is uh, from the brush border enzymes the food is uh, absorbed into the intestine uh, and converted in, into the simpler molecule that simpler forms hmm. so uh, there is something in that brush border there is something called sodium potassium pump uh, you know hmm. sodium and potassium are like enemies they cannot stay inside the intestine at the same time so more sodium in your diet yeah you will get more of water retention and if you will start eating a potassium rich diet which is basically rich in fruits your coconut water and lemon uh, tomatoes mushrooms they are all high in potassium uh, so uh, the more the potassium you are having uh, more sodium is going to be flushed out from your system because of the sodium potassium pump present in your gut in your intestine small intestine so if you are eating potassium the sodium will flush out if you are eating too much of sodium the potassium will flood, flush out because they don't stay Science at the same level everything is very very important yeah. so i think the gut that makes all the difference and everything is reflective it's through all the systems 100% yes 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 you have to so pressure uh, hold thyroid ho kuch bhi ho it all starts from the uh, gut and uh, i think you know you should know have a fair idea of the gut and know how the microbiomes are functioning in the gut to know how well they are performing everything is actually related starts with the gut in yes, so yes, your session yes, yes. that is very clear today you know <laughs> definitely so if you have high blood pressure then uh, focus a lot on your regular health checkups about your lipid profile and your blood pressure monitor it very nicely avoid tea coffee uh you know uh, anything that contains a, a large amount of caffeine your uh, you know certain drinks that energy drinks that claim to give you energy uh, which contains high amount of caffeine so uh, avoid these kind of beverages uh, rather include more of coconut water and lemon water in your diet eat a lot of fruits in your diet because they are rich in potassium excess sodium will flush out uh if you are overweight or obese focus on losing some weight that will definitely help uh moreover uh if if your uh, you know blood pressure one one tip that you can take uh, from for for blood pressure here is that uh, replace your dinner salt uh have your white salt throughout your day time Mm-hmm. I am not asking you to replace it for whole day. Please, ये गलती मत करना. फिर बाद में मुझे बोलोगे कि मुझे thyroid हो गया क्योंकि आपने हमारा नमक बंद कर दिया. मैं किसी को भी नमक बंद करने के लिए नहीं बोलती हूँ. The biggest mistake, you know, कहते हैं ना हमें सेंधा नमक खाना चाहिए, हमें pink salt, black salt खाना चाहिए, rock salt खाना चाहिए और white salt बंद कर देना चाहिए. Have you heard of it? I have many. my friends they say that ki nahi hum na khane mein sirf sendha namak daalte hain and i had also started doing this in the middle ki white salt avoid karte hain that sendha yeah so if you are a person who generally eats a lot of cooked meals aur bahar ka zyada nahi khate hain then you are not getting a lot of sodium agar aap totally band kar dete ho white salt ki diet se lekin sodium ke sath sath aapko aur kya nahi mil raha hai aapko iodine nahi mil raha hai सरकार ने इतना पैसा लगा के नमक में आयोडीन डाला है किस लिए डाला है हमारे लिए डाला है ताकि हमारा थायरॉइड ठीक से काम करता रहे तो अगर आप नो सॉल्ट डाइट्स पे जा रहे हो या हेल्थ के नाम पे नमक वाइट सॉल्ट अपनी डाइट से बिल्कुल बंद कर दे रहे हो तो वो बिल्कुल गलत रैदर एक स्मार्ट चीज जो आप कर सकते हो व्हाइट सॉल्ट ड्यूरिंग द डे कंज्यूम करो एंड पिंक सॉल्ट ड्यूरिंग द नाइट जब आपका डिनर टाइम है उस टाइम पे खाना आप पिंक सॉल्ट या सीधा नमक में बना सकते हो सिंपली बिकॉज जो आपका व्हाइट सॉल्ट है वो आयोडीन फोर्टिफाइड है उसमें आयोडीन है अगर आपको एंड दैट इज द ओनली सोर्स फ्रॉम वेयर यू आर गेटिंग आयोडीन तो अगर आप आयोडीन पे ही खा रहे हो डाइट में यू कैन गेट योर थाइरॉइड इशूज यू कैन गेट हाइपो थाइरॉइडिज्म एंड योर टी एस एच लेवल्स कैन एलिवेट सो Uh, always include uh, white salt and pink salt both uh, don't just skip on white salt in, in the name of health so it is more harmful agar aap totally white salt ko skip kar dete ho uh, the smart use the smart strategy this is 
one more question. I think that's the last question that we will be taking up today. Yeah. There is somebody who had ESR. He has some issues with uh, and blood infection. He has mentioned there that I have some the reports for his ESR were not right. And uh, what would you suggest? Is gut or gut microbiome test any way helpful for him? Okay, so ESR. If you have any kind of inflammation in your body, your ESR could be elevated. It could be simply from a common cold. Uh, your ESR could be elevated. If you have any kind of, uh, you know, infection, suppose you ate something outside and you have a stomach infection, you can have inflammation in your body. Uh, uh, if your immunity is, basically what is happening is if you're having inflammation or your ESR levels are elevated, it means that your white blood cells are functioning and they're trying to, you know, uh, fight the infection that is there in your body. So whenever you have any kind of infections, you will see that your white blood cells are elevated, your monocytes and esophils and basophils and everything. And you will also see certain inflammation in the system. So it's like the part of, uh, like it's like a symptom of, uh, of a health issue. So if you have your ESR elevated, uh, definitely uh, you will need some antibiotics and it's the antibiotics that would affect your gut health. So uh, and, uh, unless and until you have inflammation somewhere around your digestive tract, if you have, because inflammation could be anywhere in the body, it could be anywhere. Like if you are injured, you went with an accident, you could have inflammation, it could be external, it could be internal, it could be anywhere. Uh, but if you have inflammation around your digestive tract, then maybe gut uh, health test might play a role uh, in, in it, uh, rather than uh, just, you know, focusing on uh, inflammation uh, and gut health, there is no as of direct link uh, between the two. But yes, if, if there is any kind of inflammation and you are on antibiotics, which you will generally be if there is any inflammation. So antibiotics is something that can deteriorate your gut health and then you can start having gut issues and then maybe you can go for a checkup and then get treated for the particular uh, thing that is going causing a problem for you. So, um... Simran, you have actually helped us debunk a lot of myths today. You helped us see the right path and know how to balance. It's very, it was very enlightening this session. I think like many people, they've asked a lot of questions. They joined us and it's been interactive. Yeah. It's been fun. It's been yeah. thrilling. And we have learned in this process that yeah. each one of us had some takeaway. And we've learned okay. how to... You know, change those lifestyle measures, those dietary measures for our gut, for our overall well-being. And we've also realized that gut and self-care, they are all included. They are a part of it, part and parcel, and not out of it. It's very important it's a part of your self-care because also because, you know, it, it largely affects your mood also. Uh, we, we do self-care and we feel happy about it. If your gut, if you know you take care of your gut, you will be more happy. So it's, that's all, how also it is linked. You know, in general, a person who is constipated, who didn't get fresh in the morning and who is bloated will be more, you know, irritated and agitated mm -hmm. because um, their gut is not in the right shape. So I would say, uh, you know, uh, at the end, uh, you are what you eat. So you have to take care of what you eat. Uh, most of your health issues can be reversed with your diet, reversed with your uh, fitness levels. So you have to be very, very cautious. And one thing that we all need to understand is regular health checkups is not something that you waste your money on. It's more of an investment rather than a spend. So you might catch a lot of diseases early or you might be able to treat it just with dietary modifications. Uh, and you can save a lot of money on the medications and treatments if you get yourself regularly check up, uh, checked up. And uh, that's that's how important uh, these things are. You know, I, I will just uh, like end this by saying uh, one thing that I learned from my education uh, is when I attended a conference in, in, in Jaipur, it was all about diabetes. So one of the doctor came up with a presentation and he said, you know, uh, diabetes is a disease which uh, cannot be managed by medicines. It, it is not managed by medicines alone. 
so it it contains four parts to make it a whole uh, one is a regular health checkups because if you don't know what time your blood sugar level is elevated you know increasing or what time your blood sugar level is falling down you will not know how to manage it you will not know how to plan your medication dosage you will not know how to eat at that point in time that's how important regular checkups are uh, for diabetes management then second is what you are eating uh, so your diet is the other part which manages your diabetes third is your re regular physical activity uh, when you are exercising your body is utilizing the glucose and uh, uh, using it for the production of energy rather than just storing it in our blood so uh, regular exercise is a part of you know uh, one fourth part to manage diabetes and fourth part is uh, medication so all of them play a good role but what you all said about diabetes i believe it is for all the diseases in the world all the health issues in the world it stands for hypothyroid it stands for blood pressure it stands for all the diseases in the world that nothing can be managed alone by medicines uh, what you are eating along with it what you are uh, if you are working out or not and if you are getting regularly tested or not it's always a, that always makes a whole of a treatment so thank you so much Thank you, Saint Simran, for joining here. I'm sure you helped us today with all your knowledge, and I look Thank forward so to having another session with you soon. Thank sure. you so much. Thank Take you care. Yeah. Your audience, okay. thank you for joining in, and looking forward to another session and where we can discuss more about gut health. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.